Okay. Let's take, I, I just want to take like a little bit, like see more of a serious moment to talk about that Vanity Fair uh, article. Okay. My initial reaction to that article was, fuck yeah, Winona Earp made it into Vanity Fair. Then I read the article and, 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 I, and I was like, um, no, you obviously don't get it. You suck. And then I was like, LOL Erpers assemble. <laughs> like, listen, an article is an article. You know, it's a, it was it's one person. They can think what however they want to. It being in Vanity Fair alone, you know, just being talked about at all in Vanity Fair is like huge, right? It's gonna get more people are gonna check it out, and you know. The people that need to see it are gonna see it M more are more likely to see it but it was so like off the marker this person just like did not get it at all it says in there this show has no semblance of seriousness okay I'm sorry what I mean, it later, you know, it later goes on to say, you know, it has heart and talks about Winona and fighting her own demons and talking about Way Hot, which is awesome. But it just kind of glosses over everything and, and, um, makes it all seem so trivial when really, like, it is such, it's a much deeper show than I guess a lot of people think it is. It has so much, it, there's so much more to it than it has heart. I mean, it speaks to like real life people. You know, you have, and it teaches like real lessons. You have Winona, who is this flawed yet strong young woman who has been dumped with this responsibility and this curse and then you have Waverly who feels like she's always in her sister's shadow and I mean hi how many little sisters can identify with that and you know you have way hot's relationship and they did not they did not do way hot's relationship justice at all they just were like hey way hot it's super popular go check it out no it's so important it's it's denying and breaking and subverting these tropes i think this show teaches so many lessons that because of the writing and because of the silliness and because of the humor you don't necessarily know that you're learning and I mean even the secondary tertiary characters are getting are well written and have some semblance of a storyline of their own I think that one thing that any article needs to mention if they're going to write about Rhinona Earp is the fandom, is the Earpers. Because for me, I think that w what says the most about a show is the following that it has, is how it has affected people's lives. And this show has <clears throat> affected so many people's lives. <sighs> Obviously, including my own. I wouldn't have this channel without this show. Um, and 
this phrasing is a little strong, but I just, I feel like this article kind of shat on all of that and like poo pooed it and was like, you don't know what you're talking about. We're Vanity Fair. We know everything about television. And, you know, watching it and interacting with all of you online just makes it that much better for me. You know, no one's gonna bring us down. And I think that, that's something really special. That the Herber fandom has is this like innate kindness. Herb it forward. Herb your fandom. Kindness is contagious. All these things. It's such a positive fandom. And we're so welcoming. And it's so amazing. And I think that we have n we have no chill. And we may be small, but we are mighty. <laughs> we got a second season. And we're gonna get a third. I know it. <laughs> and I just want to like... I want to give a quick shout out to Kevin and Bonnie um, at the Winona Earp, Winona Earp podcast. Um... <laughs> And on Twitter, Winona Earp Pod and uh, Winona fans, I think. I don't know. I'll put the links to their Twitters below. They take this fandom and just like lead it. Lead it into so much more. They connect us all. every week multiple times a week because if you live on the east coast or if you watch at a time that is equivalent to 10 p.m on the east coast and where you don't mind spoilers and you and you want to hang out you want to do the whiskey and donuts hang out after the show each episode creates this amazing space of positivity and love and no chill and fangirling and fanboying and flailing and yelling and and then they have the podcast and if you want to know the show more listen to it not only do they kind of they not only do they talk about each episode each week they have they have the cast and the crew they have interviews with them and <sighs> listening to these people talk about this show that are a part of the creation of it I think just makes it even more awesome and I just think that Kevin and Bonnie are fucking awesome I just think that you know not everyone's gonna get it and that's okay because we get it we fucking get it and we get each other and this Vanity Fair article is just gonna bring more and more people in and like Erpers do we're gonna welcome them <laughs> with open arms and love them because at the end of the day that's all anyone wants is love and it comes in many forms and the love that Erpers have is pretty fucking great go and check out Kevin and Bonnie and um, donate to their Patreon so they can keep being awesome and 
spread the love. Tell Vanity Fair what Winona Earp means to you. So that they may not see it, they may not retweet it, but people that see that see that tweet and that see that article and decide to read the comments are gonna see what it means to you. And they're gonna be like, yo, I want in on this. Anyway, I love you guys. And they're bond.